What's good, everybody? My name is Keyonce Coles. I'm an up-and-coming comedian, trying to just do my thing and whatnot. So I decided to go ahead and shoot a little footage just to welcome all you into my world, my comedy journey, and just give you a little bit about me as a person, what made me get into this industry, and just take a little stab at it, you know what I'm saying? So, y'all probably could tell from my accent, I'm from New York. Yes, the Big Apple. Shout out to all my New Yorkers. You know, we always represent and we always leave our home though. And we still represent New York like crazy. So now I'm in Virginia, but I'm originally from Queens, New York. Born and raised, yes. Jamaica, Queens, Hollis, represent all that. Henderson, to be exact, okay? But anyway, enough about where I'm from. I'm always representing. Currently living in Virginia, Gainesville. You know, I just set my little game up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, I'm a woman of a certain age, stepping into this world. Like what? Unapologetic, doing my thing, and bringing something different, something new, sexy, fly. Maybe I don't look that sexy right now with my little Yankee fitted on, but I'm still representing my people. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, but I'm just kind of chilling right now. Um, I wouldn't necessarily just say I'm a comedian. I'm an entertainer. Let me tell you something about what it is to be an entertainer. Okay? It's a difference. See, every comedian that get on stage that that make you laugh doesn't mean that they're actually entertaining you. See, that's something that I do, period, okay? Um, I get on that stage and I give you not only relatable material, but I make it so that we feel like we have known each other for the last 20 years, okay? It's just like, you know, at a barbecue, you know, at the cookout. Can I just my cookout? <laughs> We just vibing, you know, off of everyday life things. And sometimes it comes to a point where you feel a little uncomfortable, but you ain't gotta worry about it because I ain't here to judge you and I don't want you to be here to judge me. This is just a little journey that I'm doing that I like to make sure that my peoples who connect with me, my target audience that um, connect with me is enjoying what I'm giving them. Uh, I met Keyonce uh, while we were in grad school and we talked a little bit about her being a stand-up comic and I told her, you know what, I used to dabble a little bit uh, with comedians once upon a time and I'd be very interested to see, you know, what she had to offer and then, you know, if it was something that we wanted to take from being a hobby to a business, I would be there to support her. The time that I spent with Keyonce, I have to say that she has grown a lot from this past year, we've only been doing this not even a full year, but in this past year, she's really grown to learn and understand the business a little bit more, be very funny, focus on her material, focus on her delivery. Um, know that if this is something that you are passionate about, then yes, people will receive you very well and you'll be able to um, explore this journey with confidence and making people laugh, because at the end of the day, that's what you want to do, make people laugh. You did? So I got into comedy because how plenty of people were telling me I was funny. Period. Um, I was the one at the family functions, the birthdays, the events, getting up, just acting a fool. And my family, my friends, just look at you 40 or 70, 40, you know. And not that I took it that seriously, but it always gave me confidence to keep doing it over and over and over again. So I ultimately became the person who planned the events, hosted the events, and ultimately just kept the family together laughing, having a good time. And that's what comedy is about to me, okay? Comedy is about getting a group of people together, strangers or not, and just having a good time, giving a good vibe, and just Enjoy your life. Why? Life is so crazy, it's difficult, it's hard. And to have somebody bring that lightheartedness, that comical um, element, and that realness and relatability, y'all, I'm telling you right now, y'all, it's a skill, it's a strategy. And I'm engulfing mine, okay? I don't know if that was the right word I used, engulfing, but. 
It sounded right, okay? <laughs> My name is Lynette. Um, I'm Keyonce Cole's best friend. We've been friends for so many years. The difference between Keyonce Cole's and some of the other comedians out here is she's raw, she's authentic, and she is exactly who she says she is. Who you see as a performer is Keyonce Cole's. You are getting the person that I know and I've loved for all these years. So go check her out and enjoy the show like I did. Anyway, like I said, I'm a woman of a certain age. I have a 17 year old, so I kind of, you know, experience a little life as a parent, as a mother, sister. But when I come to comedy, it's my therapeutic life, okay? It's my relief. And I like to give that to other people. Why? Because, like I said, life is so difficult. We are faced with so many challenges. But when it comes to comedy, I want you to come in my space, in my set, and be like, yo, I'm about to forget all my problems right now, okay? And really be honest with y'all, I want some seriousness. I was going through some stuff in my life that I literally thought that I was going to check up out of here, you know, on some broken heartness. Tough relationship edges, falling out, um, stressed out, losing weight. Um, face breaking out, just all the things that females go through. And I don't know about the males, but I think males kind of handle their stress in a different light than what females do. Well, comedy was my safe place, okay? I had to laugh at some of the decisions that I made when I made them after looking back about them. And I found that, yo, life is here for us to enjoy. We gotta make the best of it. And being a comedian, that's my job for you, to make sure that no matter what it is that you're going through in your life, that I can give you some type of relief to say, I belong here, I need to be here. Not only for your family, your children, your friends, the people that love you, but the simple fact that, let me tell you something, God has given us all of these talents to help each other. And minds, it's to entertain you and make sure that you are in a space of freedom, of um, like a sanctuary. So when you come see me, let me tell you something. Forget about all the stress, the drama. How Mary say it? No more drama in my life. Yeah, that's me. Um, but I give it to you real and raw and uncut. Cause I've been through some stuff myself. Look, fellas, let me touch y'all a little bit too. I didn't play child support, okay? I know it's kind of crazy to hear a chick playing child support. I said I got a 17 year old son who I paid, what, $800 a month for a child support. I feel y'all on that, you know? But at the end of the day, it's just like, life comes with a whole bunch of obstacles. And at the end of the day, I was like, yo, we have to eat for dinner tonight because this child support ordered over my check, okay? So I feel for y'all when it comes to that. And I was even on the other end of the spectrum, not even paying child support. I have received child support. And I saw how it broke down my baby father. And the reasons why I went behind doing that. And that was an experience in my life that I had to look at from both standpoints. And guess what? I found the comedy of it all. Like, yo, we be really on some mad shit with each other, trying to hurt each other and break each other down. But at the end of the day, it was just, we just wasn't meant to be or whatever. So I like to talk about relationships. I like to talk about everyday life observations that we don't really bring to the light. But again, when you come to my shows, when you come and you support me and we connect, Yo, I want to engage you. I want to captivate you. I want to let you know that you belong here, that the world needs you. And have you cracked it up or let you say, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Like I said, I'm here to entertain you and give you what you need. And at the same time, it's self-rewarding for me. It makes me feel like I want to keep going. And that's that exchange that God give us. It's a fair exchange, no robbery. I'm not giving you no more, and you not taking nothing more from me. And we kind of just giving that energy. I am Francesca Porter. I am one of Keyonce Cole's business managers. 
um, I do the director of talent engagement and operation. You know, but we's coming up together, so that just means I, you know, I got my hands in a lot of different pots. But Key and I met through work. Um, you know, I'm very, very standoffish at work. Work is work, play is play. But she saw right through that real quick with me. So her and I forged a friendship. Um, and just conversationally, the girl is hilarious. So talking to her, you know, just listening to how she tells the stories and does all these various things. She told me that she was interested in comedy. And I was like, well, dang, I wanna come see you do your comedy. So she was like, oh, okay. She was like, well, you know, sometimes people I tell them I wanna do comedy, but they're not very supportive of me. They tell me I should do, but they're not supportive. And I said, well, I wanna be supportive. So I showed up just as a friend. I was there and I said, Kay, come on, let's go, let's do it. So, you know, just there, I'm recording here and I'm talking to the manager over the place over there just doing different things but she just asked me to be her manager so I said alright cool I'm, I'm all with it so you know key just in a room I just love how she presents everything that she presents so I support her because she is a person who can walk into a room change the whole mood of the room the girl is a live entertainer she's a comedian you know she's a host and you can hear the same material a hundred times in comedy but the way you gonna hear from key is completely different so i support her just because the girl brings something so fresh so new so authentic you are not going to find another person like her and beyond all of that the personality and all of that the funny is on when i tell y'all the funny is on you gotta stay tuned you gotta stay tuned for your girl because she's coming up and she's doing big things I'm all about positive energy, empowerment, but I love that real, real, real uncut, period. So again, y'all come through, support me. I know I'm new, and I know y'all probably like, look, I don't know what she talking about. You know, she up here with a look, yeah, you fit it on, talking about she from New York, she didn't pay child support and all this other stuff. I'm sorry, I done been through some struggles too. Don't have me take off this hat real quick and show y'all what these edges and gray hairs and stretch marks and all that rawness is about, okay? Because I will. As a matter of fact, when you cut my shot, you might see a little shot, shot, okay? This body ain't always look like this, okay? This body was a snap once before, but I think I'm doing a little stuff with keeping it out at my little age, you know what I'm saying? I think I'm doing a lot of shot. And shout out to my females who, you know, trying to keep themselves together, not letting the world break them down. And again, it's something that we can all come together, congregate, and laugh about. I'll make y'all laugh. Trust me, I got y'all. Queens, New York in the building. Eh? So yeah, y'all check me out. I know social media is the, the new wave, okay? Um, I'm a little old school. My IG is Keyonce Coles one K-E-Y-O-N-C-E-C-O-L-E-S. One and my Facebook is Keyonce Coles. Same spelling without the one. That's it. My bad. I should have told you the Instagram 